Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode here at Wildman Lives. I'm your host, Wildman. Now, on today's episode, I went to the gym and I was hanging out with a buddy, and we did clean and jerks. I used an axle bar, and he used a regular Olympic weightlifting bar. And there's a big difference between the two. So let's jump in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the first difference off the bat is the barbell is 45 pounds and the axle weighs 30 pounds. So it's 15 pounds less than a barbell. The Olympic bars ends rotate for counterbalance, which is perfect for lifting, whereas the axle bars ends do not rotate. So it's a lot harder to counterbalance it. The axle bars diameter is a lot thicker than the barbell. It's about the size of a Coke can, which makes it way harder to grip. Coupling this with the fact that it doesn't have any knurling like the Olympic bar has for grip, resulting in slipping out of your hand if you tried to power clean it like an Olympic bar. So as you can see, I've got a buddy in here today. So I set up my camera so we could film the entire duration of our workout and you can see what everybody's doing. So we're doing the Axel Continental Clean and Press and we're gonna be doing this in giant set format. So right after we're done with that, we're gonna be doing some bar facing burpees. I love doing this exercise because it's a great total body workout and it gets my hips moving. So as the weights go up, it's easier for my body to be primed and to hit the heavier weights. And we're gonna be doing some rowing as well. And that's going to be the giant set for the day. Now I'm kind of double dutying it today because I had to teach Delson how to power clean and jerk. But once he got that down, he's essentially going to be doing the same exact giant set format that I'm doing with the burpees and the rowing. He's just going to be doing a power clean and then three push presses as well. And I'll explain the differences in the movements and in the bars as well as this video goes on. But primarily, this is what we got set up. I'm building up to a heavy one rep max and doing all of these burpees and rowing in order to get myself moving quickly and explosively so that by the time I get to my one rep max, my body is fully alert and awake and will be ready to lift the heavy weight. Whereas what Nelson's going to do is he's just gonna stay at this weight until he feels comfortable going up and he's just gonna continue to do one power clean followed by three push presses. So I was doing reps and now I've moved to singles. And the plan here is to continue to build up to a one rep max beltless and to continue to do burpees and rowing to get my body primed for that and to see what numbers I can hit without any equipment on. I'm currently not training for anything right now, so everything's kind of wide open right now. So I'm really gonna be pushing the boundaries today. So what's kind of funny here is I got my math wrong. I thought I was at 190 already, so I was really at 170. So when I jumped to 210, I was like, holy cow, this feels a lot heavier than what I thought it was going to be. That's because I did my math incorrectly and I loaded incorrectly. So once I realized that, I felt okay, because I just realized, yep, I'm starting to get into the serious weight here. So I need to be ready for it. Meanwhile, Nelson's clean was getting too powerful. Look at this. It just flies up there and he has to control it to put it onto his shoulders, which isn't quite what we're looking for. So after he was done with his repetitions, I told him, why don't you go ahead and just add more weight onto that so it'd be a little more even. So he's at 115 pounds now. Now this weight was gonna be my tester. Um, I'm using all overhand grip and no equipment. I'm not doing any other grip to secure it. It's very thick in diameter, as thick as a Coke can. So this went up very easily. And since it did, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for a PR and I'm gonna use overhand grip. I don't think I could ever go back to the content of clean and press using a mixed grip because that's how I pop my bicep. So I was gonna test my limits. Now for Nelson, barbells are meant to be lifted. And look at that. His clean was perfect and spot on. So. He was getting more and more comfortable with the movement as he went on and his heart rate, he said, was beaten fast. So everything was coming together very nice. Meanwhile, I loaded the bar to 260 pounds, which is a 30 pound jump from the last time. And unfortunately, I just wasn't able to secure it. Now, if I turned to a mixed grip, I probably would have got it. But again, I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to sacrifice my biceps. Unlike a barbell, a barbell, even when I continental clean and press it, it's a lot safer because I can get my hand fully around the bar. So it's a big difference when it comes to a barbell and an axle bar, but I definitely wanted to hit it. So this time I got my mind right and I really just took it slow and concentrated working it up to my neck. 
And this fortunately went, and I was able to clean the most weight I've ever been able to clean in my life. But I still wanted to hit the press, so I loaded it up into the rack. So here, this would be the most weight I've ever pushed overhead with an axle bar. And it went very smoothly, very nicely, without any equipment on, so I was very pleased with that. And I thought it was smart to split up those two movements since I couldn't hit it all in one. Then I moved on to my variation giant set here where I did three rounds. And for the first exercise, it was the seated dumbbell press. Now I like doing this and I just started doing it this year because I really credit these for getting my shoulder strength up. Eddie Hall and all these other big strong men swear by these to get their shoulder strength strong. So I wanted to try them out and I must say, Doing this at least every overhead press day, I can definitely feel the difference. And I definitely feel like I hit that 260 with ease overhead because of this movement. So if you're not doing these, I highly suggest it. And in between those sets, I would take whatever the weight was that I had just pressed overhead and I would walk about 10 meters in the gym in a farmer's carry. This is just to make sure that my overall shoulder health is nice and balanced as I work the polar antagonist. And I was also doing one third of a mile within three rounds to equal one mile total on the assault bike. Now, this is a very hard bike. If you don't believe me, give it a shot. Now, there were two things that I did correctly in this workout. The first is I split those two movements up when I couldn't get the clean the first time on 260 pounds. Focusing on the clean and then hitting the overhead press out of the rack was a smarter move than me trying to hit the press after I spent so much time trying to fight to get that axle up to my shoulders. The second thing I did right was I used an overhand grip the entire time. Now, a lot of strongmen, including myself, have used a mixed grip when the axle bar's grip becomes a limiting factor. Unfortunately for me, I actually injured my bicep doing that because your hand that's supinated is the one that tends to get ruptured because the bicep tendon is being exposed in a very unnatural way. And a lot of strongmen get injuries with their bicep because of this kind of lift and because of that kind of grip. So ever since I hurt my bicep, I said never again. I'm only going to use the overhand grip, even if it's the limiting factor. And I've been working on it for a very long time, and I'm very happy that 260 pounds was cleaned with the overhand grip. It's also fun to work out with a buddy and to teach them something new as well. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.